Airline passengers are familiar with them, and many even fear them. Turbulences in the air during the flight. One slight jolt and you have to buckle up. However, these irregular motions do not just occur in the air. One can identify giant vortexes on satellite images of the ocean. The ocean is filled with these and many smaller vortex motions that are referred to as turbulence. Turbulence is extremely important for the ocean circulation, which in turn affects numerous climatic conditions, such as precipitation, evaporation and CO2 distribution, and thus impacts the climate as a whole, in the ocean and on land. Ocean currents permanently decay into smaller and smaller vortexes. Hence, the ocean is in fact a sea of vortexes in which even the tiniest of these turbulent motions can affect the largest ocean currents. Nevertheless, to date, many fundamental aspects of these dynamical processes in the ocean remain largely unexplored. It is the goal of the researchers participating in the Transregio project, Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean, to change this. They are in particular examining the instabilities from which the turbulent motions arise in order to be able to create more consistent climate models. Turbulence in the oceans is responsible, among other things, for the mixing of warm surface waters and colder water at greater depths of the ocean. During this process, different forms of energy are permanently converted into each other. For instance, the kinetic energy of the vortexes is used to move warm waters from the surface towards deeper layers. This downward transport of warm and therefore lighter waters consumes energy, just like it costs you energy to push down a light ball floating at the surface. To gain a better understanding of these energy conversions is an important aspect of this research project. Only if the energy conversions between the numerous types of turbulent motions within the climate system are better understood, it will be possible to make more reliable long-term statements about climate-related changes of the ocean's energy content. This is how the researchers participating in the project contribute to the development of more precise and reliable climate projections. By doing this, they help many people worldwide to be more prepared for future climate conditions.